Hey, things are getting caliente on the Real Housewives of Miami. Here is more on what you will see on the reality show from Gertie. This season on the Real Housewives of Miami. The first thought was like, okay, um, why? And then secondly, it's like, what is my husband gonna say? You know, because it's it's a team effort, of course. And you know, I wanted to if I knew that if I wanted to jump in, I was going to literally dive in and never look back and regret anything. So I just thought that it was a really good way for me to truly represent Miami, number one. And it, it, you know, there was some missing links, I think, culturally speaking, uh, in the past cast. And I think that this time around, it was it was assembled properly to show the, the true essence of Miami. We are a full bodied wine, honey. So I love the fact that we, we got all of our grapes together from different parts and we just mash it together to create TV magic. All these wrong door. We need to, as a group, learn how to put each other up on pillars. When they go lower, you go higher. You know what I mean? Like, no? No. Don't look at me like that! You don't yeah. Okay, so what are you bringing different? Listen, besides the fact that you are gorgeous, right? <laughs> Thank you. You are successful, you're a woman doing your own thing, and you're Haitian. What yeah. else do you bring to the table that you think that, that was missing, like you said? Well, I mean, I, I I grew up all over the world. You know, I was born in Haiti, moved to Paris, living in uh, you know the U.S. And so I think that my 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 global palette really also helps the way I think. Um, it helps my aesthetic. It helps just me understanding people better. So I I'm self-proclaiming myself as the the quote unquote peacemaker of the group, and that those come from those types of, of strengths that I have. I'm able to kind of look at a few people and like, there, there's a loss in translation thing, thing happening here. She means this. No, she's hurt and that's what this is happening. So I try to be the middle you know, person to try to bring resolution to a lot of issues. And guess what? Sometimes I'm in the middle of one on my own with, with one of the girls. So, you know, we all go through our kinks, you know? It happens. It sounds like you're playing a lot of uh, therapy. <laughs> uh, I try, like I said, but these girls are not having it sometimes. And it, it goes down. It goes down. <laughs> yeah, so the, obviously, coming into this, you knew there was going to be a lot of drama. Uh, it, it sells. It gets us watching. Uh, how much of that are you ready for? And are we getting ready to see a little bit more of that? Oh, you're going to see a lot more. And especially, I think, of me, too, because, you know, last year, um, you know, Alexia and I were planning her wedding. So I think you saw me more in a professional setting. And so I didn't, you know, at this time you do see me way more socially integrated with the girls. There's no, you know, work discussions anymore. And, and you know, what happened in la last season um, takes effect in the way that her, myself and Alexia uh, interact. And there's a, a couple of, um, of issues that we need to hash out. And so you see us hashing it out for sure.